Okay, so this is my uh, collection. Um, learned a lot about bugs last first week, and um, I got 16 orders. I got uh, 62 families, and I have um, about, probably about 77 species. And um, anyway, so then there, I, I guess I could just go through the nicer ones. This is no Donata. They're the dragonflies and damselflies. Um, this is a uh, blue strife tail. So there were some really cool things I've really seen before. Um, and like this best bug. This is a dark. This is a darkling beetle. This is a um, a, a stag beetle. These are some ground beetles. This is a tiger beetle. This is a slug beetle. No, not a slug beetle. A, a fungus beetle. Um, and then you have the ladybugs and... What about that little green one? That's a, uh, weevil. Oh. Yeah. So, it's a cool find. Um, and then you have the diptera, which are the true flies. They have, um, two wings, um, which, in comparison to the hymenoptera, which are the wasps and the bees, that have four wings. Oh. Um, and then, and then you have the hemiptera. They are the true bugs. Like, whenever people say bugs, these are really the only bugs. Um, they're, so they include water boatmen, um, which is this, uh, the, the back swimmer, which is this, uh, uh, water striders, uh, milk bugs, and this thing called a toad bug. Toad or toe? Toad bug. Oh. Um, it lived, it lived, we found it in the North Quarry, and, um, it, it looked exactly like a toad. And um, because I mean, a lot of toads taste bad, so I mean, it's like a viceroy oh, thing. Yeah. So it, it doesn't tends not to get eaten. And then this is this right here is a leaf, and you might be wondering why yeah. I have a leaf in there. It, that's called a uh, hackberry nipple gall. It's a um, it's a homoptera, and ha homoptera means same wing, which means that uh, unlike the hym hymenoptera, uh, they have four wings, but they're but both of their wings are the same size, same shape, same venation, and. Um, so they include leaf hoppers, plant hoppers, and then these uh, hackberry nipple gulls. Um, and then you have the ephemeroptera, and these are just basically mayflies. They are they have their own order because mayflies do because they have their own um, type of metamorph metamorphosis. It's it's really kind of crazy because most things go uh, in at least complex metamorphosis. They go from um, larval stage, oh no, egg to larva to pupa to adult form, okay? Or, and then, but instead, these things do an egg to naiad, which is the uh, uh, aquatic form of the larva, um, to this sage called the submago, and then to, um, and then to the adult form. So, you know how they always say that the mayflies live for a day? They actually live for two years at the bottom of, of the lake or the, um, or the pond. And, um, so, the submago stage, uh, what they do is that they come up and then they they don't have any wings, but they're like extremely lightweight. And um, I wonder if you've seen any of them around. There's just molten them everywhere. But uh, then they get then their submago form uh, gets flown up, uh, gets blown up onto the island or the land. And then uh, when it gets blown up there, it uh, sprouts wings. And they only live for 24 hours. And they're basically a um, a mating organ with wings. <laughs> so um, that's the ephemeroptera. Then there's the trichoptera, which are um, basically caddisflies. Um, cool thing about caddisflies, the, the big thing that you can tell is that they have this extremely large antenna. It's like oh, yeah. that long, see it? Mm -hmm. And um, It's longer than their body. Yeah, it's longer than their body. Um, and then I kind of made a mistake with the, the, the orthoptera are crickets, grasshopper, stuff like that. I made a mistake with this one. I didn't realize it was a juvenile. And mm -hmm. you're supposed to put juveniles in vials because um, juveniles uh, shrink when you oh. pin them. And so the, obviously this one was about that long. Oh, really? I trucked onto that. Wow. So, um, I mean, now, now you can see some pretty coloration. It used to be all gray, and now there's red and black, and I mean, it's kind of cool. Uh, so, this is Dermoptera. Dermoptera are earwigs. I didn't do very well. Good job in pinning it because I kind of smushed it when I was trying to do it. And um, so, as well, um, in the same Hymenoptera family, there's also ants, as well as wasps and bees, um, Lepidoptera, butterflies, tiger moth, 
um, skippers. Now, there's one. There's these things called skippers. Have you ever heard of them? Uh, they're like butterflies, but the antennas seem to have been kind of uh, crapped on. Okay, now I I if you look at a butterfly's antenna, let's look at um, the red winged admiral. Okay, no. The red admiral. Uh, um, this is called the red admiral. Now, it has this kind of club at the end of its antenna, okay? Yeah. And, and skippers, instead of having that club, they have like an arch, okay? It goes like that. Um, I'm afraid that I kind of, it, it was, it's a really, really fragile. The, skip, the skipper was really, really fragile, so I kind of messed it up in the pinning of it. So, there's a Lepidoptera family. What's the yellow one? Uh, this is a, uh... Is it moth? No, no, it's, it, it, I just rubbed off a lot of its scales when I was trying to do it, because a lot of them have really crappy scales. This is, uh, the cabbage butterfly, and the, um... The hackberry, because this is the hack. No, I'm just kidding. The hackberry are the most, um, the most hardy ones. But we just because um, you know that myth about monarch. If you like rub off monarch scales, they can't fly. That's mm -hmm. not true. Hmm. It's just for coloration. So I mean, um, anyway. So you have that. Um, maybe I'll talk a little bit more about the coleoptera because they were by far my favorite. Hmm. Um, I'll just tell you a little bit where I found them. Uh, we found this these tiger beetles on uh, a beach they uh, mm. uh, for some reason they seem to really like uh, the beach and they have these extremely ginormous uh, jaws if you can maybe move your head down you can see how big they are mm -hmm. like compared to its body see those mm -hmm. they're pretty crazy so that's why they're called tiger uh, mm. um, beetles and then you have um, this is a row of beetle right here um, they're pretty common. How do you spell that? R O V E. Oh, okay. And uh, then there's now there's a little bit of a thing that we learned about the difference between lightning bugs and soldier beetles. Um, this is a soldier beetle. This is lightning bug. They, lightning bugs are beetles. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, that's one thing that I guess you, you probably couldn't have known, but um, because this is the only thing that are true bugs. The way you can tell that things are true bugs is because they have they, when they're in their adult form, they have an X on the back of their back, hmm. and that's how their wing structure is. Oh, um, in Hemiptera, uh, like Hemoptera, um, Hemoptera means same wing, Hemiptera means kind of same Stiff. wing. They're like half wing, yeah, exactly, half wing. So they, they're very, very similar, but they're not exactly the same. Um, so that was that was basically Gosh, the point. Was there wasn't really a lot of patience to pin them. It took Look at that forever. little one. Yeah. God, how did they? Oh, those are the easiest. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just, just all you have to do is just stick a tiny bit of glue on them and then stick them on the uh, triangle. Oh, okay. Um, they're actually very easy. Um, God. But we found our last day was a very good one. I found this ground beetle that has an iridescent head. Yeah, I noticed that and green. Yeah, it's a very, it, they're really pretty. Uh -huh. And then I found this best bug instead of a log. How do you spell that? Uh, B e s s bug. I know. I, you know, it's kind of strange. I, I think that you know they should just go back, change their names to like what they actually are. Like you know, um, because it's kind of it's really kind of confusing. Um, and then. Uh, does do, does uh, knowing Latin help at all? Yeah, it helps a lot. It really does. Um, That's what everyone always says. Yeah, it really does. I mean, like, because, you know, I I I was, like, you know, really getting pissed off at that, and I really thought that I didn't want to take it. And now, I mean, I realize that it really does help. Um, we saw it. And one last thing with the ephemeroptera, the mayflies, um, is that you guys were lucky enough to miss the week when there were just tons of them everywhere. All in the corner. So that, um... And the only reason, oh, yeah. And the reason that's there is because um, there's these Napa. there's these types of beetles. Maybe that's it. But they but they eat. They can eat oh. your specimens. Okay. And um, so that, that's it. Okay.